Hello, this is Alyssa with Patriot Marketing. I um, reached out to you earlier today um, about a free video that I had promised to send you. Um, well, anyways, here it is, and I'm going to keep it short and sweet. And I just wanted to show you a few tips that you could really use to maximize your traffic online. And so with that, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Um, so the first thing that I uh, noticed is I wasn't able to find a website for you. Um, and so that would be my first uh, recommendation for you was would be to to get a website uh, with a lot of content uh, and keywords and you know I'm gonna just bring up one of your competitors here that I found that we will go over later uh, but uh, they I'm just gonna use them as an example so that you can kind of see what I'm talking about so um, basically I uh, they do flooring here and they, what I was talking about with content is content is anything I can highlight via, uh, whether it be text or, uh, pictures. And so the reason why you want a lot of content is so that you can rank for a lot of, uh, different keywords, keywords, for example, like, uh, flooring, uh, Los Angeles, California flooring. Uh, flooring Los Angeles California just some of those uh, service keywords that you really want to rank for um, and um, they there's a lot of volume to be had with those keywords for example in your area for flooring um, there's a total of a hundred and ninety search volume for that area and some of these individual keywords you know there is a 20 for flooring Los Angeles California um, so yes, definitely want to get some of those keywords and you would want to get some of those keywords in your content when you have your website. Unfortunately, you're not, people aren't able to find you with these keywords because you don't have one. And it's really important to put yourself into a position where you can be found. And how you would do that would be having a website with the content and keywords that you want and need to be found for. And so when you have your website what i would do um you know it would be really important to like maybe save some of these images as uh some of those keywords so that they would count as content for your website um you just save the image and reload re-upload it to that website or whatever um you don't have one but when you add those images into your website definitely save some of those images or name them uh some of those keywords um and the reason for that is when um, when Google crawls your site, uh, they see that not only do you have that content, but also that keyword verbatim within your content, and it allows you to rank faster and more efficiently. Content is really great for ranking as well because Google feels that more con the more content that you have, the more likely you are to be an expert in your field. And so at the end of the day, their whole goal is that when someone searches, they get the information that they need um, quickly and efficiently. So long story short, the more content you have on your website, the more likely you are to be found because Google wants to ensure that people searching on their platform gets the information that they need. And so that brings me to my next tip, and that would be to build upon this Google business profile um, and that would really be giving yourself a chance to be getting as much traffic as possible. Um, I mean, even if they don't have a website, they can go here and see a lot of different things that you have for your Google business profile. So that's really cool about that. But, um, what I mean by that as well is, um, when people search for any given keyword, um, I'm using flooring Los Angeles, California with a search volume of 20. So, um, when people search for any given keyword and I'm going, since I could not find any of the Google ads or local ads with, uh, any type of flooring keyword whatsoever in your area, I just decided to use a random one, a roofing contractors. Uh, and I can, because they have some local ads that you know, so you know what they look like. And the local ads um, are nice because, you know, they uh, actually uh, capture the people who who click on the very first thing that they see. So um, that those are good for that. Also, they are guaranteed by Google, which means um, 
when something goes wrong or something happens, uh, Google is gar guarantees them up to a certain dollar amount, so they are okay uh, monetarily. Um, and then also the local ads do have a high conversion rate because with every local ad, as you can see, they have the business's name right here. And so when somebody is already taking the time of day to call you, they are more likely to convert over as a client. So that's really important to know. Um, and then there would be the regular Google ads, which are typically right underneath the local ads. Um, they don't have as high of a conversion rate. However, you are able to be seen by a lot of different people and they are a lot cheaper. And then I'm gonna go back over here because you do have a map pack here. The Google map pack is another way that people search and the people that search this way, they want to see a company that is local and in the area. And it can actually pull up to 80% of the traffic. So with a keyword, with a search volume of 20, you're looking at 16, uh, on, so 16 uh, going straight to your competitors here. Um, also, uh, they wouldn't be, you know, all but four would be going straight to them if they were just using that particular keyword. Uh, ranking organically is also a great way to pull traffic. Um, so ranking organically, the higher you rank, the better. Um, so these people up here are actually right, pulling more traffic than the people down here. Um, because they're ranking higher and actually, uh, people rarely go to the second page of Google. So it's really important to be on this first page here so that you actually pull traffic with that. And so to rank organically, and this is where your competitors comes in, um, they're right here. Um, they are, for ranking organically, they are number one technically. The only thing that's above them right now is Yelp. Um, but they are very, you know, we're, we're going to pull them up in this one tool that can show where they're at uh, in their Google presence. So basically, to rank organically, you would need to build up the strength of your website. And how you would do that would be adding backlinks and referring domains. Backlinks, um, unfortunately, are not all created equal. Um, you want good quality backlinks because the poor quality ones are not going to do much for you. Um, so make sure that when you do add those and you have a website that you add good quality ones. Referring domains is anything from like, oh, for example, say you do services for this one company and they decided to blog about you on their website or something um, and they have a link back to your website. That would count as a referring domain and those referring domains is power. Um, and with the more power that you have, these numbers are going to grow bigger. And you generally want a, as big of a number as possible. Um, generally with contractors and flooring companies, we, we generally want to see them in the 20s, 30s, 40s range. Um, these guys are almost in the 30s range, but they're, and you also want them at a one-to-one -one ratio. Unfortunately, they're not at a one-to-one -one ratio. However, what they are doing, whatever they're doing, um, it's putting them number one ranking organically and that's because they have uh, 746,000 backlinks, 4.63,000 uh, referring domains, ranking for 100,000 keywords and generating a traffic of 410,000. So that is a lot of traffic going to their page. You take a look at their keywords, they're ranking for anything like flooring Los Angeles, flooring in LA, flooring stores Los Angeles, flooring stores Los Angeles, anything from that um, right here, they're ranking for. They're not ranking for their name. It's good to rank for your name, but you mainly want to rank for your service, for the service that you do, because people aren't going to be looking for your name. They're gonna be looking for the service that you offer. And so you really want to be ranking for those service keywords. Um, so there's a lot of different things that you can do to bump yourself up in your online presence. Um, without a website, you are really limiting yourself into how much, um, how much traffic you're getting online and how much business you are getting. Um, I hope this has been informative and helpful. Um, please reach out if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. I'd love to chat with you and help you out in any way that we can. 
either my husband or I would love to get in touch with you in whatever time fits for you. So with that, you have a great day and God bless.